Hello everyone, today I'll talk about how to get a driver's license and this video will be informal. Specifically, I'll talk about how to get a driver's license in Ontario, the province in Canada. Let's talk about how many licenses there are in Canada. There could be a G1, a G2, and a G. For starters and beginners who want to get a first license, it will be G1. And I'm not talking about the truck or bus driving because their licenses are different compared to what I'm talking about right now. I'll be telling you about the cars and automobile licenses. Let's talk about how you can get the G1. In order to get the G1 license, you have to write a written test about your knowledge in driving. To get, the, to get better and study for the test, you can also get books from a local community store or community shop that offers the book. The book can be offered in different languages. Say I'm Romanian, I'm Chinese, I'm Tamil. Then you can just get the book. And also the book has 200 questions on it. Well, you should probably study all of them because at least 40 questions will be on the test. And let's talk about the test soon. After you read the book and you're good with it, you can go to the Ministry of Transportation office to provide your valid identification or ID. When you provide your ID, you can provide legal documents that prove that it's you. After you provide your ID, you can basically check your eyesight. So if your eyes are good, can you see far like that guys? And they'll ask you to read some few stuff. And when you get good stuff on your eye exam and good marks, then you can move on to the test. In total, there are two options for the test. You can do one physical or virtual. The virtual one is on a computer and you do check marks, but the physical one, you go physically and you write it. There are 20 questions on, like one about, 20 questions about pictures, road signs, and 20 about the physical rules and stuff. So in total questions, there are 40 questions. On the online, just check mark, but on the online one, they're different, not different languages. They're only English and French, which is the official languages in Canada. But in the physical one, there are any languages that you that are available for you. So if I'm Romanian, I'm Turkish, I'm Tamil, I can basically talk about that and get the language. And when I get the test, I can write in my, my own language. So once I pass the test, let me tell you something that a person from a foreign person from outside of Canada that has the same con controls as the Canadian vehicle. So if they're on the left side, they can exchange their licenses because it's the same control, same start side of the steering wheel. So Canada also doesn't drive the right side. Canada drives in the right left side. So now let's talk about a different thing. So I think some countries can change, exchange their original license from the country that they came into the Canadian license without doing a test. I'll put it right here on the screen guys. And those are the countries that can exchange your licenses with Canadian. Let me tell you something that the Canadian driving is on the left side. The steering wheel is on the left side, but different countries such as India, they have it on the right side. That's different from ours. Once you pass the test now, back to the G1 stuff, you can do a few stuff, but also let me talk about the price and fee. For the first test, you have to pay $158. And don't worry if you fail. If you fail after two weeks of the cooldown, you can pay $15. So you guys, you have a G1 license, right? So you can go to a driving school and pay about $40 to $50 per an hour and learn some driving, like a physical one. Or you can get taught by a person you know. But make sure they have the G license, the final one, with over five years of experience. But once you learn, guys, there's a certain rules like don't drive early morning or don't drive midnight and don't drive in the highway and yes, guys, don't drive with other passengers. And that's the main and important concept. This is a note, guys. So if you're going to any Minister of Transportation to register, you have to bring your immigration paper, your identification, your legal documents. But after you get the G1 license, it, this is a G1 license, guys. So your G1 license can contain your address and your photo identification. So when you want to go to any government office, any Minister of Transportation office, anything like that, guys, you can show this as your valid identification, ID, instead of keeping your other documents safe and also let me tell you one more thing this g1 is value is about five years until you keep redoing it that was the note guys and keep touching the video so that's all about g1 licenses and thank you for watching this video we hope that you can i hope that you can like get information based on this topic so see you in the next video until then bye